me about a couple of things that you discover while incarcerating, by being incarcerated, and then deal with starting your programs a little bit. And then we say, so what were some of the main issues that you found out when you were not incarcerated? And that's when you talk about all the things that we were talking about, like resources and stuff. And and I was going to say, and did you find out that family or people treated you different or you had a stigma on you? And then I say, so what is some of the advice that you would give family or spouses of people who are coming home from jail or will be getting out of jail soon? And then... Say, well, my name is Quinn, and once again, this is Miss Rain, and I would like to thank you so much for coming to the Reentry TV show and being our guest. Can you please tell everyone the name of your business and nonprofits that you work with, so we can put them on our website? Because we also gonna link it on okay. the website too. So, does that sound like an even flow? Yeah, Am I staying I in so. order? Okay. Good. Because you're going to be the second woman on the show. And my dad did the first interview. And it was good, but it was a snooze fest. Oh, my God. <laughs> like boring? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. What was it about? Um, it's, it's her. Her name is Queen. She was doing an uh, autobiography book about her right now. We're filming mm -hmm. because she was a queen pen. They said she was but in the 70s. But um, she served 10 years. And she got out, and now she owns a golf charity for kids, and she's doing some different things in her life. So if you go on reentrytv.com, yes, okay. her picture is the first one. Mm -hmm. But you can Google her name is Marie Preston, and she Bush mentioned her. She showed us all the books to prove yeah. she was credible. Uh, went to jail, went to coat in a fur coat, like y'all yeah. can't touch me because she <laughs> has so much money. Yeah. But she say reality brought her down. Yeah. You still a black woman, yeah. and she, they gonna break you down, big right? Woman, yeah. So she said when she was in there, the door they breaking you down. She said when she was in there, she was being a writ rat. That's what they call people who yeah. were always writing up stuff. Yeah. And she was getting other people out, and she was yeah, like, well, they called a writ. She was like, well, wait a minute. If I'm getting her and her, why can't I? And so she wrote one for her so. and got out. So now we're following her and trying to do, and the, the, the goal is to sell the trailer to someone who wants yeah. to invest, invest in, the, in movie. the movie. Right. Yeah. So my dad told me, we're going to send it to Tyler Perry. I was like, it's so many other people besides Tyler Perry there, but okay. Here we go, ladies. Okay, so. Let me show you how this works. Please. Okay, so when we start the show, I go five, four, three. Oh, Lord. I stop at three. Inside your own head, you have to go two, one, and then you start. Okay? Say, hi, my name is Quinn. Welcome to Reentry TV. Today, special guest, blah, blah, blah. Okay. okay. And, 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 and I'm okay, so while, you, while, while you're doing the interview, please, you cannot play with your hair or don't, don't touch. That's why we're trying to do it now. That's why I'm doing it now. Okay. But I wanted to say, y'all are not going to be in here. No. Oh, no. You'll be fine. I need guidance, Raul. You were doing great. You were almost doing an interview right now before we didn't even know there was nobody even in there. Oh, yeah, I was listening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I okay. All right. Well, no I'm just no nervous. Pretend the, the cameras aren't there. Listen, I, I okay. stumble through my words all the time. Okay. I'm almost certain you're going to be fine, sweetheart. <laughs> you're already fine. Okay. Let's, let's just work on that. All, all right, right. Here we go. Oh, second, wait, okay, that's fine. middle camera. Okay. okay, okay, so when I start, here's what the secret is. When I count five, four, three, the middle camera's on, but when I count two and then in your head one, it jumps to this one. It jumps to what one? The one. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I get it. All right? Okay. Okay, so it's going to start right there. Five, four, three, watch. That? Mm -hmm. it, it, and do I start talking to that one? Yes. Yes. You okay. To that one. Okay. Hi, my name is. But when me and her are talking, we focus back on the middle one, right? Uh, it depends on whatever lights on, sweetheart. Okay. Just follow the lights. So 
if I were you, I would just interview her. Don't even worry about where the lights yeah. are because I will follow you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a good advice. Okay. Yes, I will follow you. You you don't even have to worry. You just look at her and talk like y'all just having a normal conversation. Okay. Every day, a to B. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Drink some coffee. Y'all look beautiful. So here we go, ladies. Uh, five, four, three. Hi, my name is Quinn and welcome to Reentry TV. Today we're going to be, uh, I'm, we have a special guest and her name, I'm, no, that's fine. That's okay, fine. see, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to stop it and mess up. You don't said, worry about it. Don't even worry about it, sweetheart. Yeah. We'll do it two, three times until you get okay. it Okay. Right. Yeah. Don't ever stop. Just keep okay, going. just keep going. Yeah, okay. I'll be the one that calls cut. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, so okay, we'll one go. more time. We're gonna start all over. I'm gonna start all over. Start with the count. Yes. I'm okay. Start with the count. So that way you get used to it. All right. Here we go, ladies. Five, four, three. Hi, my name is Quinn, and I'll be your host today for Reentry TV. Today, our guest host will be Miss Rain, and we'll be talking to her about a few things that she's done and accomplished in her life. Hi, Miss Rain, how you're doing? Hello, how are you? Uh, Miss Rain is an entrepreneur who was incarcerated in prison and came out with um, a few limits that she found it. <sighs> okay, we'll start right there. Miss Rain was incarcerated, just go ahead, five, Miss Rain was incarcerated but came out as an entrepreneur and founded a few businesses on her own. One is the HTX Cafe and U Technology, and she is also on the board of directors for the Second Chance Life program. Uh, Miss Rain, while you were incarcerated, could you tell us a few things that you discovered that you had to go to that you weren't necessarily prepared for in prison? Uh, well, you never are prepared for prison. Uh, so there were a lot of the unknowns, but uh, one thing that I did notice while I was there is the, that I kept noticing that women were coming, talking about the same fears, and that was going home, not having, um, they were really fearful of, of what to, uh, what they wasn't going to have when they got home uh, in regards to resources, food, clothing, jobs, uh, housing, transportation, and the fear was so profound, and it was just over and over and over again, so um, once we we started, uh, myself and two other individuals decided to write a program called um, uh, Second uh, One Step Home. Okay. And that program was was intended to be a reentry program uh, for women uh, to be able to obtain resources prior to leaving uh, the camp. And you started this while incarcerated. While incarcerated. Wow. Okay. Well, the uh, warden heard about it mm -hmm. and wanted to meet and find and get more information about the program that we were writing and told us that she had a grant for reentry. And so we, and she said, whatever you need, make it happen. So it, it is a physical location at Bryan Prison Camp where you can go in and you can get a book from every state and those resources from every state. And we gathered those ourselves. We had to write letters and, and had um, officers send out information to, to put in those books. Okay. So a person can come in to this location, fill out a profile, and they are able to uh, right just for success or find out about transportation, find out about medical, housing, Maybe transportation. Maybe find food stamps or whatever government things that they might need. Exactly. Okay. And the warden offered to pay the stamps, so the, the U.S. Postal stamps. So that was a big relief for a lot of women to know that they had things uh, sort of in place. Because some women don't even have money on their books for stamps. Not that. deodorant, basic necessities while in there. So definitely when they get out, they're going to be like, what am I going to do now? Right. Because no one's providing this stuff for me. And there are a lot of reentry re programs out here today that allow for a list of resources and provide resources. Mm -hmm. But just imagine being inside and uh, understanding what those resources are. Right. So you still are ahead of the curve mm -hmm. uh, by coming out and, uh, under, and, and tapping into those resources right. through the At halfway least I know order. about these from exactly. when I was with that. Okay, that sounds good. Um, I, I do like want to add that, that uh, the, the Quick Start program. Okay. We also did, uh, we noticed that there were a lack of um, entrepreneurial type uh, training Okay. Um, because, you know, we all know that it's hard to get a job. It's Definitely. hard for a regular person to get a job, right. along with, with a with record. A, mm -hmm. So we p implemented a couple programs to allow individuals to start their own business. And I created a class called Quick Start Your Own Business. Okay. And it, it was a post-requisite for anyone taking cosmetology, uh, taking um, 
uh, airbrushing class. Okay. Uh, so, or they were uh, dog training or and stuff. So, so when that. they came out, they at least had some type of skill to. I got training for this. Yeah. Okay. And I, it's a, and I, the, and I, when I got out, I, I published it. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a resource guide. Of okay. Here's where you go. And this is what you need to and do. This is what you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's very good. Um, how would someone is that resource still available if they wanted to? Yeah, it's on uh, it's on iTunes and Amazon. Okay, it's and called, it's called Quick Start. Quick Start your own business. Okay, we'll remember that. And so um, I understand that you saw those plights while you were in there. What did you face when you were coming out? Now, I know you're a very smart woman because you open technology, but was it easy to use your skills and your crafts? Like, I'm an intelligent woman. I should be able to get a job here. Was yeah. was it easy to get back on your feet? A reality set in big for me because because of those skills that I knew I had, I thought it was going to be easier for me. Mm -hmm. So, and um, but I found out and I got knocked down pretty quick that um, going out, finding a job, I got a six-figure job that lasted four days once they found out I have a record. Wow. Um, all of a sudden the money ran out. They couldn't <laughs> do the job. Okay, suddenly it ran exactly, out for um, you. I, I wasn't getting a bunch of callbacks. I would get the first interview, second interview, and then nothing. After the background check. Exactly. Okay. Uh, even with, um, I'm not going to call the name of the airline. I mean, I went through the entire process mm -hmm. when it came down, and, and upfront and honest. Mm -hmm. But once it came down to the fingerprint, it was like, I'm sorry, we can't help And you. they say they don't hold it against you, but we all know sometimes they do. Exactly. And, okay, so that way you said we could create our own businesses. We don't have to work for Had them. Yeah, I'm like, you know, I, I can't rely on your, I mean, having a family and friends is, is crucial mm -hmm. to help you, but at some point you got to be able to, it, it, just to self-sustain yourself. Right. Um, so I said, okay, I got to figure out something. What what did I do in technology that I can turn into a business mm -hmm. where I can make money on right. um, legitimately? And uh, I started designing websites. Okay. And um, one led after another, led after another. And it's turned into now. I branched off into doing the, the the IT services business. Okay. And I've been really blessed to to not have to market, but the business is just coming. And word of mouth word that you do mouth. good business, yes, and right. that's good. Well, God is good. Mm -hmm. um, so, what would you ask some for advice for like if um, a female in particular is coming out and we want to support her for family, but they don't know how. How? What is some some advice you can give family members or spouses or kids even to yeah. when your aunt comes out of jail? Just that support mentally. Um, one person in particular, I told her, I said, listen, we're just going to just go for a ride. I'm okay. going to tell you right now, I'm going to drain all of your energy. Just being with someone that's positive, that's mm -hmm. not judgmental, right. um, resources. Um, you'd be surprised the little care packages of toothpaste, mm -hmm. lotion, soap goes so far because sometimes these women are, that are getting let out to the halfway house, mm -hmm. they have just what they have. Right. Which is typically But they came in nothing. with exactly. or less. Yes. And... Um, and then you have the little packets that they may give you, but if you, you know, any of those types of things help and go a long way. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and a lot of times it's money. I mean, it doesn't mean a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It could be $10 because you have women that's been locked up for 10 years, five mm -hmm. years, four years, and want a cheeseburger, you know? Right. So something I haven't had, but it's not drugs. Don't yeah. think you're feeding a habit or something. Yes. I, I, I want freedom i'm enjoying my freedom a cup of coffee right there were times i'm like you know i just want before i got my car i was like i just want to get up and just go by myself and drive to starbucks and get my own coffee and sit and get <laughs> on the internet and just <laughs> enjoy exactly it right. right okay yeah. well that's good advice but the one the one support system is really just just being there for that person and understanding and not being uh judgmental a lot right. of people don't really understand mm -hmm. um yes we make mistakes uh and we pay for those mistakes mm -hmm. but it is hard it's hard for other individuals but if you can be for, there for them not just my financially, mm -hmm. but mentally. Right. Uh, like I said, I have friends who just say, hey, I'm just going to come and sit with you for a little bit, or let's go take a ride in the city. And you're blessed to have that. Ride. Yeah, and if you don't have that, take a walk. Right. Or just spend some time with that person because um, being being incarcerated, you, you, you are even though you're on campus with a lot of women, mm -hmm. you still are isolated. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everyone so, has their own issues and things yeah. they're going through, so it's good to be able to talk to someone honest and not being judged. Exactly. Right. And if you don't have a family, I mean, if you don't have family or friends, and because, you know, we all are different, 
um, then there are a lot of support groups out there. Like uh, what, for instance? I, I, I think that if you go through like, the Second Chances Dot Life, okay. Dave Lewis is the president of that organization, and it's a phenomenal organization. Okay. Uh, and what he's building is pretty much what you're saying: real people, real solutions. And they're built. There, there's going to be programs and mm -hmm. uh, other resources out there. Uh, there are events. Okay. That, have, that we're going to be tagging on the website that'll say, okay, here are events you can go to, and you go to those particular events, you're able to meet, network, and meet other people. Okay. Okay. And then find other jobs or mm -hmm. um, resources like like uh, job uh, interviewing skills, okay. resume building skills, okay. or even me training the individuals how to do networking. Okay. Uh, so there's there's other resources. So if you don't have family and friends, you can reach out to some of the reentry programs to find out what type of networking programs they have. And we'll definitely list these websites and organizations that she yeah. just listed for anyone else who needs help. And those are some good resources. Yes. And um, Ms. Rain, I appreciate you coming. Thank you. I appreciate you being here and spreading your story and letting yeah. someone know that just because you were incarcerated, you could still be successful. You could still be a business owner. Mm -hmm. She's traveling the world, doing big things. <laughs> the world. And, yeah, you went, just went to Hawaii. So, you know, let's yeah. not be modest, but you're doing good. And I appreciate you taking the time and coming on Reentry TV. Thank you for having Once me. Once again, my name is Quinn and thank you for watching. All right, that was great. Okay. okay so, so I just... Yeah, I, I just have a couple of questions that, that I want you to ask her. Okay. Okay. So we'll just jump in, like, in Miss. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So basically, she, she's talk, talking about everybody, but uh, let her talk a little bit more about herself. Okay. You know, and, and her struggles when she came out and why she decided to, to, to do what she did. So just, okay. just go from there and say, okay, uh, give us a little history of, uh, okay. of what happened to you when you came out. Oh, and, my and, God. And why, you, <laughs> yeah. why you knew that this was... Uh, important for everybody. Okay. All right. That was, that was uh, 12 minutes. All right. So we need another two 12 minutes, and we'll be fine. Okay. So you said, what were some of her individual struggles when she came out that wanted her, that she knew that she needed to right, inspire her, inspire to yeah. to open a business or help others. Right. To help others. You know, okay. So you just make it as simple as possible. Help others. Okay. 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 Just, just say okay. Yeah, uh, give us a rundown of the history of you uh, on, and what happened and why, what inspired you to help others. Okay. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three. And hey, Miss Rain, could you give us a couple examples or a rundown of what things happened to you personally when you got out, like um, hardships that you had found? Oh, yeah. yeah, there were, there were some. Um, well, it started while I was away. Like okay. I said, just helping others and just, I, I and this is not cliche, but I, I literally prayed and asked God, okay, I'm here, what is it that I need to be doing? And help me to see what I need to be doing. And um, helping others just kind of like came natural at, at that point. And then once I got out, I just continued it. And I met Dave Lewis, like I said, with the Second Chances Dot Life. And I like that program because it helps others. So. The challenges that I had was um, I wasn't able to to find uh, a job right away, and when I first got out of the halfway house, you you had to find some place to live. Right. So I was sleeping on a friend's couch, and um, you know the halfway house has lots of uh, rules and guidelines, mm -hmm. and one of them is you have to answer the phone right away. Mm -hmm. And they had a huge house. They go upstairs, the phone rang, and I missed the call. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to send me back. Over and, not yeah, and answering the phone. Exactly. And so I'm telling her, look, I'm in the house. Okay. The police came to the door. It's like, no, I'm not sending her back. She, she's she been here. I've been sitting right out of the house. Mm -hmm. I saw her when she came in. But that stress was just right. so profound. I mean, just that, that nervousness and that, that anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, and the fear of having to go back over something that simple. And then on top of that, the people I was staying with was like, look, we can't handle this anymore. You're going to have to find someplace else. Oh, you're bringing too much to my household and all that. Exactly. Okay. So I had to go back right. to the halfway house. And then like at the halfway house, there was so much stress there because uh, there's this little, little, little yellow line that the women can only stay in. Now the men, there's a nice bench, there's a basketball <laughs> goal. Right. So, and you can't intermingle. Now it's a right. co-ed, but you can't intermingle Cross like this that. little box. Can you imagine right. this 2,000 square foot place? Right. So the women had to stay in this little area, and one day wasn't anyone out there. And I said, I'm just going to shoot some basketball. Because mm -hmm. like, you can't go anywhere because on holidays, you're locked out. Mm -hmm. you're locked, it's called lockdown. Mm -hmm. So the guard, guard was like, get off there, court. Nobody's out here. 
Yo, I'm sending you back. I said, you're going to send me back from playing basketball? So you're constantly living with that stress. You know, am I going to make it on time? Even right. if I went to school or if I went to a program. Am I going to get back by this? Yeah, the or Uber's late. This, you're right. going back. The you, bus broke or You're anything. constantly being threatened mm -hmm. to go back. And that, that stress was uh, a lot for me. Um, and I was so happy when I, when I got past that part. Right. And then now, you know, dealing with, okay, now I go through life thinking, okay, somebody's going to judge me because of my background mm -hmm. or someone's not going to hire me. Uh, and I had to start everywhere I went. I was telling people I've been incarcerated and my friends were like, you don't have to say it. But I feel like I did at the time because mm -hmm. it was like my truth. And I wanted to say, okay, if you don't want to be around me if, because of who I am. Right. Let then, me let you know now. So there's no surprises. I'm not hiding who I am. Read them out. Right. Read them out early. Mm -hmm. But it also helped me to come to terms with it myself. Right. Because you can be, you have embarrassment. Mm -hmm. You're ashamed. Um, and you come out into, I remember even going to our, my first fur furlough. Mm -hmm. I went to the mall. I remember walking to the mall feeling like I shouldn't be here. So imagine someone else has been incarcerated for five and years. And that was because years. you're being away, being locked up. Right. Okay. So there's a, there's a lot, um, mental health is huge. Mm -hmm. Now that's another thing that Second Chances That Life focuses on is the mental health side of it. And that's rare because you do need some type of mental, not necessarily saying you're crazy, but yeah. you need someone to talk to. You yeah. need someone to work through issues with. Yeah. You might've saw something in there that affects you, exactly. you know, and it you didn't know it, but it did. You think about it or you change yeah. your habits. I had a chip on my shoulder as well. Right. I had a huge trip because if you could came up to me and said, uh, Rain, I need you to pick up this coffee cup mm -hmm. and I need you to put it down. I'm like, well, you're not telling me what to do. I went to prison and people telling me what to do all day, right. nonstop. Right. right. So I went through that as well. Mm -hmm. And I, so that, those are some of the challenges that I had to face personally. Mm -hmm. You know, that having that chip, you know, you know, thinking everybody's against me. Or judge um, me. Exactly, or judgmental. Mm -hmm. And then just, just knowing that I do belong out here, I do belong. I, I, I did my time. I belong. I, I, I am free. Yeah. But that mental. I can be a productive part exactly. of the society. But you just had to get over that mind yeah. thing. Was was only you, or mostly you, until you had someone to talk through it with. I also yeah. sometimes I still am still kind of isolated a little bit. Even mm -hmm. when I was in Hawaii, there was a group of us. But I found myself still going off to myself mm -hmm. and just being by myself. So. Um, you know, I still, I still deal with it. Mm -hmm. I understand. And I'm at a short timer. Uh, like I said, there, there are women that I met that had done five, 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, and I can only imagine uh, what they're going through. Right. Families, mm -hmm. themselves, if they have families, and then that fear of getting out. And I've been told what to, to do in. for so long. Mm -hmm. Now I'm out here. What do I do? What do I do? So it's good there's organizations that are able to help you. And it's good that you started a program while you're inside. Okay, well, look, when I get out, I won't be alone. I can talk to this exactly. person. I can reference this person or something. That's right. And I bring up Second Chances that Life uh, a lot because be, by me working with this program, I see individuals who come in and they, they don't have their driver's license or they don't know how to go here or they late for a meeting or they late to go to a, a job fair. And I, I think they're so used to somebody guiding them and mm -hmm. telling them what to do all day. It's mm -hmm. like retraining and reprogramming us all over again. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, some people can snap out of it and get on top of things. And then they're and embarrassed they're, to ask for help sometimes. I noticed that, like, I'm a grown woman. I shouldn't have mm -hmm. to ask for directions just right down the street. But, it's exactly so, you it. know, you shouldn't feel that way. We understand, you know, or there's places that understand. That's right. Because I've dealt with people. I work for um, a company called the Lieutenant's House. And some of the guys just are scared. To, or embarrassed to ask for a little help. help. You know, one guy couldn't read, and I was like, it's okay. Exactly. You know, you don't know what you don't know until you reach yeah. out, and I saw I get it. I understand. And I'd like to say this, too, that uh, I, I thought I would never say this. I didn't think I would ever be in prison, but I've met some phenomenal people when mm -hmm. I was away, and I know that sounds crazy, but there are some women that I met that I just thought were great. Mm -hmm. You know, they made a mistake. They made, they made maybe they made two mistakes. Right. But, um, they, they were really good people. And it doesn't change everyone mm -hmm. for the worse. You know, some yeah. people come out better. Mm -hmm. Some people come out the same. Exactly. But it, some people come out at one own businesses and, you That's know. Right. So I don't think people should judge because everyone has a family member or something. You might not want to admit it, That's but everyone right. has a family member or a cousin that you know have had some type of issues right. and they all need help, you know. 
And the part of that reentry mm -hmm. uh, is the curbing that recidivism. I mean, to keep individuals from going back into the system uh, is is huge because you have individuals who that's all they know and they will do whatever to go back. And then you have the system who's designed to send them <laughs> back. Exactly. Sadly, but if yeah, you sadly, but get someone and put them on. 17 years probation well there's a chance my cousin i'm you know yeah. i might be a felon i didn't know he you know it's yeah. just it's like not setting you up but i understand what you're saying yeah. and that's why i think reentry programs are good for that because some people uh go back just because i can't deal with this i have to pay rent out here that's my right. kids are asking me for that's money right. you know so I, I might as well just do something just to go back and mm. be t you know so they get a free meal in the car right too. three hots in the car <laughs> or at least two hopefully <laughs> two, <at> least two. <laughs> right <laughs> but yeah that was, that was those those facts are, are, are very very real and reentry shouldn't be just one pot i mean they have files each individual your first time non-violent offenders mm -hmm. you have different individuals in i think some are looking at those mm -hmm. people individually but uh, it's, it's so huge right now and we need to and really it's so different on. many aspects of it right like you said mental health yes. and then once you get out looking for jobs and education and right. that sort of thing so it's a big broad but we can do what we can do yeah. right and right. we're starting somewhere so thank you I'd like to give a shout out to uh, you technology and uh, ACX web cafe um, and uh, second number two Secondchances.life. Thank you. Thank you. I can't hear them. Are they talking? Are y'all talking? Oh, okay. What you're going to do now is, is you're going to ask her, could you uh, share a couple of success stories? That, oh, that, yeah, that's that good. Do you know any? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just, just a couple. I mean, she doesn't have to go all it, elaborate. Just, just, just give us some just positives. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just, just, uh, uh, just ask her that. Okay. Right, here we go. Five, four, three. And Ms. Rain, um, besides yourself, could you give us a couple of success stories that you know that have came out? And yeah. Well, I know um, several several women who, a uh, couple of them gone back to school. Uh, and so, uh, a couple of them have already started their own business. I, had, okay. I know one young lady who did, oh, did, how long? I, I want to say 15 years. Wow. And she's in Vegas. I just saw her on post where she does hair. She's, okay. So she's working in a salon, and, and she did a, just did a show in Vegas. Mm. And uh, so I'm really proud of her. Good, good. And then another young lady uh, who started her own hair salon. Okay. So she's uh, doing hair. And uh, so there, there's so many. Um, uh, there's one who does finance. She, does a fi she has a financial company. And another young lady who um, uh, she owns own real estate. Okay. So she does uh, she does real estate investments. Okay. And she's doing quite well. That's good. Yeah. So are those um, references to you? If anybody needs something, you might know someone who can. I wish. I, I mean, you know, like I said, um, the law is you can't associate with felons. But like I said, it's got to be a way to to uplift. Right. Uh, uh, I those can refer us. you to my friend. Yes. This or, network. Or we or should she... be able to go somewhere, have coffee, and share success stories. Right and share our, right. you know, what we've done and what we've gone through. Right. So because every, every one of the people that I just mentioned, right. they all are part of wanting to reach back and help as well. Right. And right. Like, I, like I said, I've always said this, who better to know what a person's going through than someone that's been in it already? Right. You can't tell me what you haven't been through. Right. Yeah. I understand. So that's a lot of success stories, and I'm pretty there's sure there's more. plenty more you there's, can't there's list, but more. it is um, <laughs> good more. to know that people are doing good things because if you listen to the news, you know, it's always ex-con this and ex-con that, but they don't show the, the positive, positive stories of this business owner or I, I know a man who uh, got out and he was cutting hair in, in prison, but he owns a barbershop now. And then yeah. it's a woman in there who has the back part, but she was oh, in car. Yeah. So it, you don't broadcast it because you don't want anybody perceiving their business different but they're doing successfully they're doing you know. successfully right and helping each other and helping each other period i got a guy that does tattoo the same thing and and um in my book in quick start i talk about um a chef who did i think he did 10 years mm -hmm. and uh then he was cooking at the bellagio his chef wow and then a young lady who started doing storyboards mm -hmm. uh, she did five years and uh, now she's doing storyboards for celebrities, and okay. so there are even bigger success stories. You just out have there. to want it. You have to want it. Um, um, our company, um, I take pride in wanting to be able to hire felons mm -hmm. and also vets, veterans okay. as well. Yeah, because there's a need for both. Yeah, 
Okay. And not just hiring, but teaching skills like running networks and Wi-Fi and internet and cybersecurity. Um, some of these, some of these coming out. Technology is progressing so much. Something that you had saw yeah. ten years might not even be. That's right. You're right. Like. DVDs and that sort of so <laughs> that even, sort of thing. So even even after my probation period is over, uh, I plan to go really full force in in hiring um, felons. And because that stop you now because of your stipulations? Well, I don't think so. It depends on um, it depends on the nature of what they're doing. Okay. So um, and then I would always have to check. So mm -hmm. Once once 2020 comes, I don't have to. Right. Once they're not your that. head, I can hire who you I gotta, want yeah, as long as they're you gotta get, If you, good. you're doing good, you're not on drugs, you're not you know. So all those things are taken to 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 play. And then through the second chance that life is the same thing. We make sure that you're not you don't have any dependencies. Mm -hmm. And if you do, we have a list of outside resources to send you through those the, those right to help you get and then, this. Right. Done or get this expunged or whatever you. Yeah. Or AA or right. drug rehab. Right. But then if you come through, if you don't, mm -hmm. then there's there there are job related type programs that you go through, and then there's a list of companies that we have that actually hire right. um, ex felons that come through the Second That's Chances great. Life program. That's great. Yeah. So and, that, and then those are continuously monitored as right. well. Right. And added to and mm -hmm. yeah, because we have some companies that we would like to do business with oh, <laughs> now yeah. that you mentioned that okay, good. yeah we need that's some good. people okay so um oh, that's fine that's fine okay so now uh, i just want you to uh ask her uh how can people get a hold of you, you know okay and, and, and how can you know <clears throat> that's basically it you're just gonna say uh, uh could you uh give us uh, uh Okay. Contact information. Yeah, social media. Yeah. Okay. All your, all your contacts. All right. Okay. And uh, and and I'm just gonna want y'all to basically, after that, just shake your head. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but the uh, yes, just the way you're doing right now. Like a continuous shake or a yes or no? No, it's, it's just like you're agreeing, cause uh, uh, so when we chop this up. Oh, so it looked right? like we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is fly. So I can okay. Drink fake, so I can drink this fake coffee. You got to Okay. So we do that after? After, yes, after. After what, this question. What is, this is your last question, sweetheart. You about the contact, contact information, information, right? Yes. Okay. Contact information. And then we're just going to do the head shaking. Okay. And, and you're, you already did your outro, so we got that. It's perfect. Okay. Yeah, she did an outro. She did it already. Right. First segment. Yeah. Yeah, she said, thank everybody for watching, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. They can just put it all together. Mm -hmm. Like, cut yeah. it and... Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we'll cut it. Don't even worry about it. Don't <laughs> have me looking. Okay. No, look <laughs> okay. I'm glad right. it's Mike right here, because I... Um... No, nah, that's fine. Okay. As long as you don't move it to when we're talking. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Uh, uh, I'm going to count down and just ask her, how can, how can people get a hold of you? Okay, here we go. Five, four, three... And Ms. Rain, could you let everyone know how, how can they get in contact with you? Yes, um, I email at uh, htxwebcafe at gmail.com or support at utechnology.com, which is h-u-e technology.com. Um, I'm on uh, social media, basically uh, Instagram. It's uh, utech. Um, that's it. And uh, our, my phone number is 832 Six eight two six nine seven five. Oh, and the second chances dot life is www dot number two second chances with an s dot life. All right, so just just shake your head right now. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's your turn. But look at her though. Turn toward her. Oh. Yeah. Now shake your head. Oh. That's it. Thank you, ladies. Y'all did a perfect yeah. job. Thank we you did so good. Appreciate it. All I don't right. think I'd be drinking that face coffee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she threw that in there. My little cup of tea. Yeah. So, um. They drink, they drink it 